today is going to be a really long one. Or long two days, technically. Happy travelers, we are starting a very, very long travel day, but we're ending up in the Maldives. I'm so excited, but we are so late. We have to board our first flight to Dallas right now. So we'll see you in three hours. We just made it to Dallas, and now we have a four-hour layover. Hey, made it to Dallas. We just got a brand spanking new Admirals Club membership that we're super excited about. We bought it with Miles, which is pretty cool. We're excited to go relax and have some more coffee because that was only flight one of five, and we still have like 35 more hours of travel to go. <laughs> We have about four hours until our next flight. And then our next flight is 10 hours to Frankfurt. So it is actually much more crowded than I thought it was gonna be. It's a big lounge, but there's a lot of people here, which is a little unfortunate, but we have a few hours, so maybe it'll thin out. Spread of food looks pretty good. They had some build your own barbecue pork sliders and also some chicken enchilada soup. Got some coffee. Hopefully this will bring us back to life. It sounds like a little bit of a weird combo considering it's only about 9 a.m. our time, but hey. It's included. Any food is good food at this point. It's gonna be a really long couple of days if I haven't said that already. So we had to spring our clocks forward the day before we left, so our body clocks are already a little bit messed up. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Coffee number two. So if you're interested in becoming a member of the Admirals Club, normally it costs $650 per membership. That gives you access to all the clubs that they have and you get to bring up to two people with you. However, we went the route of getting the Barclays Aviator MasterCard. They had a promotion that allowed you to sign up and get 60,000 miles. This membership cost 65,000 miles, so we only had to come up with that extra 5,000 miles, and it was a lot cheaper than paying 650. Time to go see if we've made it on our next flight. Flight number two of five. This is the longest one. We spent a little bit too much time in the lounge, <laughs> so we're hustling over there, but it's only like four gates away. Good news, we got upgraded to business class and now it's time to board. So we wanted to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. If something in your life is getting in the way of your personal joy, BetterHelp is a fantastic mental health tool to help you work toward happiness on your own schedule. These past couple years have been rough for a lot of people and Kevin and I are no exception. BetterHelp has made things a little bit easier by making therapy fit into our travel schedule. BetterHelp assesses your personal needs and matches you with your own licensed professional therapist whom you can start communicating with within 48 hours. While it's not a crisis line or self-help, BetterHelp is professional therapy done securely online and it's available worldwide wherever your travels may take you. No matter what you need help with, BetterHelp's got you covered with a network of more than 20,000 therapists. This way you can access professionals who may not be available to you locally. 
They are committed to finding you the right therapist match, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if you need to. You can log in and send a direct message to your therapist anytime, anywhere. You can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you can get the help you need on your schedule and never have to wait in an uncomfortable waiting room. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, so with financial aid available and it being more affordable than traditional therapy, they can help you get on your way to living your best life. As a reward for our awesome viewers, BetterHelp is giving you guys 10% off your first month if you sign up with the link below in our description. Visit betterhelp.com slash theawkwardtourist to sign up. That's better H-E-L-P. And join the over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Now back to the video. The seat is gonna make this flight so much more enjoyable. And considering we only got like three hours of sleep last night, I'm really thankful. Fun fact, this seat belt is inflatable. It's called an air belt. I bet you didn't know that. We have about an hour and a half left in the flight. I've gotten a couple hours of sleep, but not too many. I'm actually impressed with how much Kevin's sleeping. It's a lot easier sleeping in a light flat seat than it is in coach though, I'll give you that. But they're gonna serve us breakfast pretty soon and then we'll be in Frankfurt. So we've made it to Frankfurt, but we're having a problem. So since we fly standby, our bags were only checked to Frankfurt. We were gonna have about nine hours uh, here till our flight later, which was on Qatar Airways. But today there is a transit strike in Germany and all the Germans version of TSA are striking just today until 11 p.m. tonight. If you go outside of security, you won't be able to get back in because they don't have their TSA working today. So we have our check bags that we have to get and recheck, but we can't get back in here today. So we might not be making it to Maldives. The other thing to think about too is that we are flying standby and with all these canceled flights, that could be really messed up tomorrow too. Yeah. The one time we actually book a hotel ahead of time. <laughs> Kevin has gone to see if he can find anybody that could give us any information. The airport is like, so empty it reminds me of the early days of covid so i think our options are either to spend the night here in frankfurt and try to get out tomorrow or maybe take a train to another city in europe and try to fly out of there which it is early enough in the day we might be able to do that which would be completely unexpected we'll figure it out All right, we're making the executive decision to leave the secure area. Fingers crossed, that's the right call. I didn't know they scheduled strikes, so I wish I had known about this. We would have flown through a different airport, but we might be going on a train journey instead of a plane journey. We're gonna go to a different airport because as we fly standby, waiting 24 hours with all these canceled flights, it's gonna be really rough and hard to get on a flight. Yeah, it, this is kind of like Germany wide too, so we figured maybe we would go to Zurich because that's only a four hour train ride away. That I, is so crazy to me. This was not expected, but yeah, when there's a strike at the airport. But hopefully it'll still work out. I mean, the worst that'll happen is that we lose a day at the resort in Maldives. In the grand scheme of things, not that big of a deal. Situations like this can be very stressful and you know, you kind of have to roll with the punches. Yeah, traveling during COVID is already complicated and stressful enough and then add in this kind of stuff and it gets a little bit more complicated. So we're dealing with it. Tired and hungry. Train time. 
So this was a very expensive, kind of crazy decision for us to make. Not expecting to go to Switzerland today. I was able to make a standby listing going out of Zurich. Hopefully once we get there, we can get on a plane and continue our journey. This will probably be the longest journey we've ever been on to get to one destination. Will it be worth it? Yeah, it'll be worth it. The good news is, I found the coffee cart. This is the only thing keeping us going. And just like that, we're in Switzerland. I had no idea when I woke up yesterday. <laughs> Whenever that was that I was going to be coming to Switzerland today, but here we are. We've officially been traveling for 24 hours now, and I've gotten about two hours of sleep in that time, so I'm a little jet lagged. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little, little shaky. Yeah, and coffee run, and... running off of caffeine. But we're going to grab, uh, I guess, some carbs and then catch the train to the Zurich airport and then get on a six hour flight. Train number two. We missed our last train we aren't exactly sure where we should sit so we just kind of took a seat and this one actually goes straight to the airport which our ticket is not for that so we're hoping we can just the information guy that i asked said that it was okay to hop on this one so we're gonna see what happens it's kind of the theme of today it's just gonna see what happens just winging it real hard Holy girl. should arugula go on a pizza let me know in the comments i vote no Four hours of train travel later and we've made it to the Zurich airport. Finally made it to the check-in counter. We're flying Qatar Airways. This is our first time flying with them. We're flying standby. And they have a really strict dress code. Can't wear like tennis shoes or anything like that. So we brought fancier stuff to change into and hopefully we will get straight through and we can get to a lounge and take a nap and have a drink before we get on our flight because I need at least one of those things very bad like never seen Kevin wear dress shoes on a airplane before <laughs> not my usual airplane attire but whatever gets us there at this point all right our dress code checked out and they actually gave us boarding passes with seats on them which is amazing so we're about to go through security and then we'll be on our way to Qatar. We should also mention that normally flying to the Maldives is not this complicated. If you're new to this channel, you don't know this. We always fly standby because of Kelly's employee benefits. We jump through a few more hoops to make these trips work than most people would. Getting to the Maldives is a journey from the United States anyway, but just because of timing and what flights we can take and everything, we definitely have taken the long way, especially with that train ride that added <laughs> a, <lot>. a bit. <laughs> That's what you gotta do sometimes, but uh, we're going to Doha. We have a little less than an hour and there's a priority pass lounge here. So we thought we'd go hang out until we have to board. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, we made it on our Doha flight. We're boarded, we're very tired. So hopefully we can stay awake for the service and then I think I'm gonna pass out. So we have about, what, like five and a half hours to Doha and then we just have like an hour there, another five hours to the Maldives. So still a long way, but we're getting there. We made it to Doha. 
We have a short connecting time. You slept pretty well on that last flight though. Yeah, but we're going on like 34 hours of travel, so I'm totally dazed. When you come in on a flight, if you have a connecting flight, you have to go through security again. Although it's a different security than normal, so we didn't have to check our bags again, which was good. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be making this connection. But we have to go find our gate, see if we even got a seat. But we're almost to the Maldives. We're in the home stretch at this point. Knock on wood. Great news. We got seats to Male, so we're officially going to the Maldives. After all of those flights and that unexpected train ride, we're actually gonna make it. Kevin said, it feels real now. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> 35 hours later and it feels real. Maldives. Still have our seaplane flight, but 40 hours later. That arrivals process was pretty chaotic, so we didn't have a chance to film hardly anything. When you pass through immigration, they will ask to see your passport and a traveler's health declaration form completed within 48 hours of your departure to the Maldives. As of March 13th, 2022, you do not need a negative COVID test to enter the country. But we made it to the Maldives, finally. It took us, I think, over 40 hours to get here of straight travel. Yeah, it was a really, really long couple of days. We just have one flight left, and that's our seaplane flight to the Conrad Maldives. We are going to get on this plane and get to the resort, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. And we will see you soon. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Aqua Tourists. Peace out. We made it! This room is a dream. I've. So we have about four hours until our next flight and we can't, and we figured that'd be a good, I don't know. <laughs> I need more sleep.